Bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. Log in for a quick second, log in for a quick second. Log in for a quick second. All right, so check this out. Check this out, people. Check this out. Um, the last news um, I heard about the situation in Uganda with um, our brother, um, Bobby Wine, is that they arrested, they arrested um, the brother. They arrested Bobby Wine in the middle of um, a political climate. They arrest um, a candidate. Now, imagine you are basically representing your country. You're um, running against an opposition. To represent your country you're trying to represent your country so you um you enter politics or you enter into the political arena so you can make changes for your people you can um you see the need um you see the needs for your um, for, for change and um Decide that you um you want to um get involved. So of course Bobby Wine saw the needs um for change and wanted to give his people a better life. So he entered the political arena. And I've had the privilege to talk to Bobby Wine a few times and I I sent the brother a message. I sent Bobby Wine a message a few weeks ago and I said brother it's really difficult to save um, people and um, black people when um, the people that you're trying to save and the people who you're standing up for um, might be the same people that turn against you yeah and I said to him, I don't know how you do it, but I kind of reach a stage where I think, you know, I have to come to the realization, I have to come to the reality when it comes down to fighting. Because it's the, it's the hardest fight. It's the hardest fight when you're fighting for black people with one hand. Yeah? And this was said by one of our greats. When you're fighting for black people with one hand, and the other hand is to fight off black people. So one hand is fighting for, and at the same time you have to use the other hand to fight off, fight against black people who are trying to hurt you because you're fighting for black people that is one of the hardest battle a black man can face and that is what our brother bobby wine is up against our brother bobby wine is up against 
fighting for black people, his brothers and sisters in Uganda, with one hand. And the other hand, he has to be using it to fight off black people. Black people that do not want to see black people live a good life. Black people um, get fair dues and respectable treatment as human beings. That is what is going on. Now, why is it that the world is standing by, or the world stand by, stands by, and, and, and um, says nothing about these uh, um, atrocities and these evil deeds? Now, you have to understand that this world is controlled by a set of people, and the set of people who control this world they handpick their puppets to represent them, not to represent black people. The puppets that they place, placed all over Africa, these puppets that they placed all over Africa, all over the West Indies, they are put there to represent that small percentage of people. Those people, the hierarchy, those people, the monarchy and the hierarchy, those people are being represented by your government. And that is the reason why your government can kill innocent people and the UN turns a blind eye. I, I said to my brother, Bobby Wine, I said, listen to me, brother. I understand how this world is set up, you know. You know, you got to keep trying because it's in your DNA. It's printed in your DNA that you have to fight for your people. And I, I feel those urges sometimes. But when I educate myself and I realize that this world is controlled by a set of people. And it's who these people choose. You understand? When they choose someone, as long as that person stay, stays in line, with their agenda. They ain't going to come against that person. Even if that person is killing. Or imprisoning. Innocent people. Because their. Agenda. Has been carried out. Or is being carried out. You have to understand these things. And that is the reason why. Dictators. And, and um, people that claim that they care for black people who are in high positions in our countries. That is the reason why they can treat black people like that. They can treat you that way. They can shoot you. And that comes on television. That comes on the internet. And people can see it. And some of these social platforms, they actually take down the footages that people are showing to the world. They're actually taking down the footage that you think would let people get outraged and call for people to be prosecuted by the International Criminal Court. But the International Criminal Court is selective. Once it is the puppets, the hand-picked puppets that are doing their, these, these evil deeds, there ain't going to be any form of punishment, any form of repercussion, because these people were placed to protect the interest of these people that control the earth. One set of people control the earth. And everything that you see is happening. They decide who goes hungry. Who gets some money. Who gets food. Etc. Etc.
which religion you, 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 is, is the dominant religion in your country. And if, even wish, 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 wish God your praise. I wish, I wish whatever. They decide for you. There is nothing called free will for black people, especially black people and poor white people on this earth. There is nothing called free will for us as black people on this earth. You have to understand that. And when you understand that, things will start making sense. These people decide which country stays poor. You see that? That is the reason why they have all of these um, European companies running Africa. Wealth. And they take all the wealth out of Africa and they build their countries. And they take the, the, the wealth out of Africa and they bank the money for the African people. And when the African people, you know, want back something, they have to borrow it and pay interest on their own money. In order to protect that, they need puppets. They need puppets. They do not care. If they kill Bobby Wine in, in a jail cell, there ain't going to be no uproar. There ain't going to be no prosecution. Because they can do that. Because they have the puppets who protect their interest in Africa. And only the puppets that they handpick are willing to do so at the expense of killing even their own people. And they see it all over the news, but they do nothing. You don't hear anything about it. But as soon as something happens in Paris, as soon as there is some form of violence against a French person or a German person, or it's a big headline. Everyone knows about it and we put up, pray for this, pray for that, pray for France, pray for this, pray for that. But France, in return, cares nothing about what happens to African people. Because we are, in their eyes, animals. That, 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 that narrative still exists. That narrative still exists. Where we are looked at as animals. So they don't, have to, they, they don't have to care about the animals. They don't have to care about us. You see? How? Ex, ask yourself this question. If you are in a democratic society, how is it possible for a man to be in jail that is the opposition to the ruling party. You just be leave politics. Leave whether you're from one party and you're from another party. Leave that out of it and just be an African for a minute. Just be an African for one minute. Ask yourself this question. What plausible reason is there to support or validate a man that is running a campaign to represent his country? What is any plausible reason for that man to be in jail? That is simply telling you that you have no freedom. Just leave whether you're from the ruling party, or you support Bobby Wine. But just ask yourself the question as an African. This is not a party, a divisive measure that they want you to run with, a mechanism. That is what they want you to do. They want you to Say you are from a party or you are from a side. But, but first, 
We were all born out of our moms, out of our mothers. We were not born with any affiliation to any parties. Any, we were not born with any affiliation to any political party. You see? So ask yourself the question. Before the party, before you knew anything about a party, before you knew anything about politics, who were you? An African. And who is the brother beside you? An African. So, is a title more important than being an African? So it is time for all African, whether you're from the ruling party or you support Bobby Wine. There is no way an African supposed to feel any form of love, any form of decency, there is no way you can feel that and support a brother that is basically trying to represent his country. That the world is calling a democratic society. And a brother who is trying to represent his country is in jail. The candidate is in jail. You're not, you're not in a free society. You're not in a free society. Now would the opposition, how would the opposition feel if Bobby Wine were the president and he order or support the arrest of the opposition who is who under Bobby Wine rule. If, if, if the opposition were the one in Bobby Wine's place, how would the opposition feel being locked up in the middle of a political climate? You have to just, you have to just make sense of it, you know. You have to just, whether you're from the ruling party side or you're from the opposition or you're from, you understand? You have to try and make sense of things as black people. Ask yourself the question, how much sense it makes. That is telling you that the ruling party is removing any possible reason for this man to represent this country. Then what do you call that? Now if I am going to run a race and someone locks me up before the race and only one person, the person who I'm supposed to run against goes out on the track and I'm in jail, how am I going to get a chance? To win the race. Ask yourself that as an African. As a black man. As a black woman. Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question. And what is this person. Charged with. What is the charge. So. It simple means. It simple means. That people are getting killed because they want to exercise their rights. People are being imprisoned for wanting to exercise their rights. Now what kind of world is that? What kind of world is that? If Bobby Wine were a terrorist, 
The United States would not have let him into their country. So he's not a terrorist. If Bobby Wine were a terrorist, he would not have been given the chance to go into Europe. He would have not gotten the chance. So he's not a terrorist. So what is the reason, what is the plausible reason for locking up somebody who is competing with another black man to represent his country? Isn't it supposed to be a process where people are free to choose who they want to govern? Now, if you are not giving the people the freedom that, that, is, that is supposed to be mandated for all human beings. If you are blocking or you are not giving people their freedom to choose a leader that they think will lead them to the promised land, then you're a dictator. You are an oppressor. You care nothing about the will of the people. Now what kind of society is that? We cannot do it black people if we are divided. We cannot do it as a divided people. We cannot stand aside and watch black oppressors repeat the same thing that the other oppressors did to us. For goodness sake, it is 2020. It is 2020 according to their calendar. We can't stand aside and accept enslavement, oppression, rejection, manipulation, the decent, the decent people, the people with the heart. The people who are dealing with love, the people who are dealing with peace and all of the things that comes under the umbrella of morals. It's time for you to speak up. You see? Because silence gives power to evil people. Understand that? It's time for the celebrities that you all support. The Rihannas and all of these people that you all are crazy about. And you buy their music and you go to their concerts. And the Beyonce's and all of these people. It's time for these people to start speaking up so the international bodies can at least tone it down. Because they, they ain't going to remove who they choose to protect their wealth in Africa. But when the whole world is speaking out, maybe, just maybe, they will tone it down. Maybe, just maybe, they won't be shooting people in the streets for no reason. Maybe, just maybe, people won't have to swim in dirty water to go see Someone who they would like to support. How would, who they, they would like to represent. You see? This is 2020. Black people cannot be in the same place 
under the same type of evil regime that we were under 500 years ago. And 1250 by the Arabs. It's, come on, for goodness sake, it's about 2,000 years now black people going through this. Why should we stand aside or sit down and allow black oppressors to repeat the same atrocities that the Europeans inflicted on us? That can't work. That cannot work. Now, now I want my people in Uganda to understand something. You see, when the oppressors were taking slaves out of Africa, when the oppressors were buying slaves, and the Arabs and all these people were selling slaves, and the black people were selling slaves, yeah, they did not care about the title that you were under. They wanted black people to be slaves. So no title exempt Africans from going into slavery. Africans that were doctors and teachers were going into slavery or went into slavery. You see? So that means a title should not stop you from standing up for your brother. You should demand it. If your brother is not breaking the law, why is your brother in jail? And if your brother broke the law, let us see the evidence. Let us see what the brother did. Or the sister did. You can't just be picking up people, law-abiding citizens, who are trying to let their voice be heard for a better Uganda, a better Zimbabwe, a better Nigeria. You cannot treat people, the youths who are tired of the same old same. It's a new day. And I, I, I want you oppressors, you black oppressors need to understand something. You see that thing called death that the oppressors created to drive fear into Africans? Africans today are no longer afraid of that. Because guess what? We all gonna go one day. And if standing up against oppressors and dictators gonna be the way to go. I'm all for it. There ain't nothing called fear anymore that you can use to repeat, to emulate what happened to black people all these years? So if you think shooting innocent people are going to stop these young people who want change, you better get ready to kill all of them. You're barking up the wrong tree because death is evident. Yeah? And it has been demonstrated by our dear brother Bobby Wine. And that is the reason why he's putting it all on the line. So Mr. President or Prime Minister, whatever they call the leaders, you're barking up the wrong tree. And people will stand up for their rights. These youths, the youths of today, 
They ain't afraid of your guns. They ain't afraid of your prisons and your torture chambers. Okay? It's time to let people exercise their God-given rights that you are enjoying. What makes you more? What, what makes you more privileged to enjoy freedom and your brothers and sisters are being robbed of their freedom? What make you more, makes you more privileged? Is it that you were born with supernatural power? Can you fly? Can you go 200 days without food and water? Well, if you can't do none of these things, it simply means that you are no more than a human being than I am. So why is it that you must get all these privilege and our brother freedom that he's trying to exercise he's been locked up in a jail cell how do you imprison freedom when you are privileged to be free It's time, black people. It's time for us to let these people know that we are not taking any more oppression. Oppressive hands over us. It is time for our black brothers and sisters to stand up for freedom. For freedom to live. For freedom to vote. For freedom to speak. For freedom to worship whatever God you want to worship. No one on this earth is more human than you or I. And if you're more human than I, let me see you fly. Let me see you go 200 days with no food and no water. And then I will let you rule over me. But until such time, it's time to free Bobby Wine. So I'm calling on all the people in Uganda, whether you support the, 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 the ruling party, or you support Bobby Wine. Uganda must unite for fairness, for freedom. No party should be placed over love and freedom for your brothers. So if you support the ruling party, it's time to turn your voice to your leader and let your leader know that if you support any form of movement ethics must play a role decency must play a role fairness must play a role Your failure to do that simply means that you support immorality. And you're better than that. And as I said before, 
You are an African before anything. You were not born with the title of any political party attached to you. We all are Africans. Whether we are over here in the West, or we are over in Uganda, or we are over in Zimbabwe, or we are over in Ghana, we are all Africans. That is the reason why you cannot mistake us for another race. The reason why you cannot mistake black people for another race is because we are one people. No matter the amount of title that they call us Muslims, they call us Christians, they call us Hebrew, but you keep your mouth shut and stand beside me and ask someone, who are those two people? No one will know if we do not tell them if we are Hebrews, Jews, Christians, Muslims, they see two black people. So Bobby Wine is your brother. And the people that support Bobby Wine, they are your brothers and sisters. Okay? So make sure that you stand up and let the ruling party understand that even though you support them, if you support them, you do not support locking up an innocent Ugandan. If Bobby Wine is guilty of a crime, we want the evidence. Okay? Where are the evidence? Okay? So we ain't depending on no international courts or no UN to stand up for black people. Because the UN and their people, they know the reason why this man can do whatever he chooses to do. Whatever he chooses to do against black people, they allow it. They allow it. Alright? So you must take matter in your own hand. You see? And how you do that? Not with violence, but with your voice. You see? And bring down the walls of Jericho. You see? Bring down the walls of Jericho. And be wise. Because fighting against evil force, you must be wise. So don't go with violence. Use your voice and your love for your brothers and your sisters. Big up on yourself. We say free Bobby Wine. Free Bobby Wine. Free the great one. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe Bobby Wine. Ashe all the great leaders who were before Bobby Wine. And all the great ones. Big up on yourself. See? One love. Out. Oh.